because today I'm going to teach you how to do a shotgun blast in Adobe After Effects. Okay, so we have our footage in here, and we have the shot right now. It's this frame. Anyways, for a shotgun blast, you want three things. You want a small muzzle flash, but a lot of glow, a shell, and you want a lot of smoke. The fourth one, which is optional, is Sparks. It does look good. I'll probably add it in. Right now I'm using Action Essentials 2. That's what all these elements came from. It has a bunch of muzzle flashes, a bunch of other stuff that will really help. Anyways, you can do this with any anything. So I'm actually going to bring in a suppressed muzzle flash and position it rotate it position it this is something that's really useful and not many people do go into color correction curves turn up the RGB alpha and turn up the alpha that will give it a more thicker look that looks really bad but you're gonna want to get it in there looks like it has a lot of smoke and then you screen it and then it will add smoke in which looks good again it's two frames uh, I've explained this in tutorials before you only want it one frame long I have a normal muzzle flash here uh, this one is basically gonna fully represent the glow so we're gonna change it to add because glow you always put on add anything that is affecting how the lens or the camera interprets light is going to be on add muzzle flashes don't go that way because they're all they are is a flame that's coming out um, stylized glow turn the glow up way much um, go to blur and sharpen um, take a fast blur bring it up about to 80 and then we're gonna turn the opacity down but you're still gonna want a big enough looking piece there by the way I know this isn't a shotgun I don't I didn't have the time to get a shotgun prop just to make a tutorial I'm just trying to help out you guys um, now we need a smoke because the smoke we have right now is going it's just staying still it's not really moving in any direction and this one's going sideways but it's going in the wrong direction so we are going to turn the scale to negative 100 that will flip it horizontally it's a very useful thing to know then you're gonna rotate it so it fits the angle of your shot and then you'll position it with all your stuff you know what I'm going to color correction tint and tint the white to the black so it creates black smoke and then we will change the curves to darken it so it's kinda subtle so we're, we'll split it the other way so it's it's displayed on how it is and you can see all the parts of it RGB we'll probably split that too um, opacity bring that way down then we're gonna duplicate it get rid of the tint and turn the top one to screen the bottom one to multiply and a lot of people are probably thinking well that's isn't that the same as doing it normal no we are making it blend with the surrounding environment and therefore we will get a more full smoke look and also with the darker one this is gonna surprise you but we are going to rotate it like that so it looks like about the angle and we are going to put it on the wall as a, a shadow we are creating a shadow for the smoke 
uh, you're going to want to feather it. I mean, mask it. By the way, this is a pretty advanced tutorial. If you want a simpler one, um, go somewhere else. Because I'm pretty advanced. That's what I like to do. Uh, now we're going to take the top smoke. We're going to turn the opacity because it's kind of extreme. Uh, I think we're going to delete the curves. Again, I said sparks look good. And we need a shell. It's optional, but if you're having a shot where there's either a lot of shots or there are um, close-up shots, then you're going to need shells. I'm actually going to start with sparks. So if you have actually essentials, go to couch hits. And if you look through these, you see they're just sparks. It is some feathers because it's supposed to be a couch. But um, go back to your movement tool. Uh, positional right frame. Make sure you take out the first frame. Because this is in 24 frames per second and I'm editing in 30, it will think the first frame is uh, duplicated because it's translating and that's not good so you're going to want to take away the first frame on anything that's 24 frames per second change this to add because then again it's light and then you have a pretty good shotgun and if you go to your muzzle flash your normal one your, the one that create all the glow and you have a tint that will make it black and white and your catch it but anyways if it's uh, just white and it's not like yellow colored that's gonna be more realistic because very little things are yellow colored we're, um, we're going to shorten the couch hit to one frame so it's after the shot, now we will do shells. Shells are important. Um, you're probably going to want a bigger one, like a 45 cal, because it looks more like a shotgun shell. That'll probably be good. Drag it into the frame. You're going to want it one frame after. But first, you want to find a frame where it's the right angle. That'll work frame after the muzzle flare, uh, you're going to rotate it 180 degrees, so you see now it's in perspective with the barrel, put it there, scale it way down, now we are going to color correct the tint, and we are going to tint it red, because shotgun shells are red, not that red. They're red. That looks good. Kind of. We can do a color correction curves and bring up some contrast. And then drop the red to kind of make it fit. But you're going to want it look red. Want to have it look red. Then we're going to take the position. Keyframe it. Uh, probably one, two, three, four, five, five frames later. Uh, we're gonna bring it. I'll just bring it there and have it go out of sight. And it. Then you are going to find this thing, this little vertex editor, and you're going to move it into a bend bending form so it shoots out except it's it's on an angle and that's a pretty good shotgun effect pretty good shotgun effect <clears throat> it my recoils really bad but so what um turn on motion blur for that layer Add a little bit better effect 
if you want to change the motion blur settings go to comp settings advanced and change the shutter angle and that will work with your motion blur I think that looks better than it did before but yeah I think that's good so anyways thanks for watching and here's the final result yeah.